Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems and today we have got one from the user the higher up to in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this simulation in but without further ado let's get right into this so it's already should be on the workshop for us let's just see here and there it is it's called Start of the Heavens 1.1 so without further ado let's see what we got here well oh my god that is a lot of stuff oh man Okay. Oh, that is huge. Okay, like, let's see what we got. So, all the way... Looks like an evolution of our own solar system. I see Jupiter in there. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, my gosh. Right. That's Vulcan. Right. Hello, and welcome to SOTH, a more perfect solar system. I based this system on my previous Reddit post. Here is the links. There's a link there if you want to check it out. Um, added some more stuff. Star of the Heavens begs the question, what if the solar system was much bigger? Since the system is comprised of 64 planets, 64 planets, one brown dwarf, one yellow dwarf, and one red dwarf, the description will be split into zones. I'm going to die if I need to write descriptions for over 250 objects. I mean, honestly, can't blame you there. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> right. So we've got the Ardeet zone, the Vulcan to Leech. So that is... I can't even see the... Le Where's that? Leech... Oh, it's going to get confusing. There's a lot of them in here. Um, There it is. Okay, so everything from that inner one to this object here. Okay. The Ardent Zone is composed of eight planets and seven moons. Most of the objects are too hot to sustain liquid water. The most interesting to them is a uh, leech, which is once a thriving beacon of life millions of years before the first Veronians appeared. But the sun expanded and its water evaporated. It's now ruled by liquid oxygen seas. Okay. Cool. Right, so first of these, this first zone... So we've got Vulcan here, so we'll see uh, one that you guys may know. Hypothetical planet that may have existed uh, between Mercury and the Sun at one point, but it has been since been disproven. So there's Vulcan. Then we've got Crania. I'll try and get through all of these. I mean, I do apologise if I miss any. I will try and do them all. But, you know, there's a lot of objects in here, so... Gotta be careful. So this one's got, actually got uh, good conditions on it by the looks of things. Let's have a look. Composition. That's still weird in these new settings, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, 85 and 24 there. Tiladu over here. So that's a pretty uh, bashed up looking rock. We've got Alcrasta over here. Okay. Then Boreas. Okay, so this one's got um, also an IO texture as well. There, city lights on it as well. Very nice. Uh, Crania, we haven't done Rocker yet. So there's that one again. Pretty, pretty generic looking though. I mean, close to the sun, it's going to be hot. So we done, uh, we done that one. Boreas, Einver, we haven't done that one. To so another Earth-like looking world. Okay. Got some little uh, constants on it as well, stat-wise. Let's have a look here. Where are we? 88 and 16. Alrighty. Then we have Alcrasta over here. Oh, yeah, we already checked that one, didn't we? Okay, and then lastly it is um, Leash over here, which is the last of those inner eight worlds. So here it is here. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so now we're going on to the Hatspool zone. So that's Boreas to Avarius. So the first of the Hatspool worlds. Where is, uh, where is Boreas? Oh, it's quite hard to navigate this one. Um, there it is. So this counts as Hatspool in the Hatspool zone? Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just the ring changing as we look on different objects. So the first of the Hatspool worlds, we already saw this one. So, the Hatspool Zone is composed of 13 planets and 20 moons. It includes planets and moons capable of sustaining and um, alive. It is a place of protected f fauna and flora, blooming industrial development, and the current Venorian Maclean Cold War, with both planets having their own political blocks and fighting indirectly for more influence. Okay. Cool. Right, so you can see. So, oh, we should really check these ones out. Yes, okay. So we checked out Rocker, Crania. Oh, there's Leash. So Leash is actually further out than the first of the Hatable Zone worlds. Okay. Oh, that does make this navigation confusing. Right. Next up, we've got Idel over here. 
I'll keep them up in this big menu because then I can just keep an eye on everything a little easier. So we've got Idel there. Now to zoom in on any object of interest. So here we go. This one here, another Earth-like world. Composition-wise. So 95 and 3.39. There we go. Okay. And we've got Flufia over here. So we're getting another, uh, another Earth-like looking world. Got oceans on it. There you go. Looking good. Says it's stats as well. Very nice. Got Juvus over here. So another one. They're looking quite similar, aren't they? Right. So there is that one as well. Looking good. We've got Chloria. A lot of the white uh, land and blue oceans theming going on here. Okay. Cool. So where are I? So Boreas, we don't. Where's Avrius then? That's the last. That's the last one there. Okay. We've also got Flemia over here. So again, another world uh, looking very similar. So all the Hattel ones all have that same sort of colour theme, and there's, there's one that's less interesting there, but they all have that same sort of colour theme of the white looking land, the rocky looking land, and then just a um, load of ocean on it. Okay. Right, so Avrius, this is the last of the Hattel zone objects now, so there it is there. But we have to remember as well, since the game has updated and we can't go back to certain older versions, we can't view this maybe in the original version of the game it was intended uh, but these systems were posted quite a while back so we probably had a good two updates since um some of these were posted so uh, apologies if they do appear different to the way they were intended uh, but there's not much we can do because the previous update of the game for example could no longer access it there's no version you can access on steam with it so i literally cannot go back to update 20 or 33 now i can only go back to 32 or 31 so i'm missing a whole update as well um, which is a bit annoying but oh well um, right, anyways, moving on. So next up, we've got Neris to Debis. So that's all the way up here. Right, so this is the cooled zone. Uh, the cooled zone is the planet after the snow line and before the asteroid belt. It's a place of many mining bases with millions working in the Lapis-dominated Debris or the Ruby-dominated Demar. It is also inhabited by many humans, mostly for scientific purposes, but also to test different weapons. Okay. So these are all going to be fairly similar looking, I'm guessing, just uh, rocks in different colours. So, there we go. Got one called Demo there. That's the ruby one, I think he was talking about, wasn't it? Yeah. So where's the, the lapis dominated? Where's that? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so Debris. That is the last of the objects there. Nice. We've all got Ranga over here. Maybe more of an emerald looking one. Okay. Necker over there. So that's a slightly smaller one. I think that's one of those guys. A smaller amount of objects there. And next up, we've got the inner gas zone. Cavana uh, to Alicia. The inner gas zone is mostly made of gas giants and many moons with many hattles in orbit. And, and it just ends. So there's no more. That's the end of the read. Let me just check the Steam page if there's any more there. Uh, no, that's it. Doesn't go any further. Just a bit weird. Looks like maybe something hasn't copied over. But yeah, that's the end of the description. So the rest of it we'll have to uh, work out on ourselves. The objects are further split up at this point, so that's good actually, so we can actually navigate it a little easier. Closest orbit of the asteroid belt, so we've got a small little um, object there. And the furthest orbit of the asteroid belt as well, the two sort of identical looking planets. Right, so onto the gas giants, we've got Cavana over here. Canvana. Looking very similar to Jupiter in some aspects, but like a slightly more pinkish version. That's quite an interesting build actually. Very, very interesting. Okay. Nice, I like that. Then we have Forge, Forge over here. Forge. So we've got a few more rocky planets in this region. Then we've got Zad. Then we've got Herb. Bombaria. That's a nice uh, blue one. We've got Otter. Pluni. Deros. There's Hamea. What's Hamea doing in there? Hello. And then there. Alshia, Javrion, Avaru, over there. There's Jupiter, so Jupiter's in here. I'm not, I've been, I want to just see how come Jupiter's in here. It's the only solar system object uh, so far, but it has different moons. 
by the looks of Io Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and then it's got a few other. Got some of Saturn's moons in there as well. Very interesting. So there's Jupiter. Same old Jupiter there. Very, very interesting. Gemite. Actually, where are I... so this Jupiter is actually further out than the regular. This is further out than where Neptune normally is. So, very interesting. Redisa, Astra. So we've got a lot of... Uh... Mendresa over here. So there's a lot of... Uh... Lot a lot of objects in here, all th thrown in here. It's a very flat orbital disc as well. Look, it's very very flat. Helios. So I'll go through these fairly fast because we'll. Um, there's no descriptions of any of them, so there's not much we can say about each one. But yeah, they all are there. So I'll try and get every single one up because it saves us traveling to each one individually. Because you spend more time traveling than looking at a lot of the objects. So there they all are there. Like I say, it's quite a, this is quite a difficult one to navigate in general because a lot of the objects are so tight together. So I do apologise if I'm missing any of these. But I think I've covered them all so far. We've got Dexa, we've got a smaller one in there. Small asteroid. We've got a larger one here looking with some moons. All the way down here. It's just in pitch black anyway, actually, so we'll definitely keep this a little bigger so we can actually get a good view of it. Corrid, Batar. Fask, Florina. So these are all just all generic looking moons. Okay. So they've just been uh, guessing they were asteroids, aren't they? Or some kind of random randoms. Yeah, okay. Kareen. Oh, that's a nice looking asteroid. I like that. Nice and simple, but it looks good nonetheless. Oh. A little bit of a, like a heat glitch there. And that's got a bunch of moons as well. All, all generic spawns by the looks of it. Okay. Right, moving on. Mashei. Over here. Elona. Start of the Penny Belt. So we've got a lot of objects out here. Looking like all dwarf planet kind of ash There's Make Maki there. Okay. Sedna. Iris are in there. Okay. Very red Sedna. Salvi, there's Pluto as well. We've got Palos. Pluto looks different. Okay. So we've got Montreux. Delhi. So end of the Penny Belt, then start of the Python Belt. End of the Python Belt. Then we've got closest orbit of the inner Oort Cloud. Okay. We've got another rogue. There's the brown dwarf he mentioned at the beginning. So this has got its own little set of stuff as well. Looking cool, okay. Nice. Let's keep them up there. So you see, these ones have got more, way more customization by the looks of some of these. So this one here, for example, that one looks pretty cool actually. It's very, very dark though, because obviously we cannot see. Let's use this new button there. There you go. There's a good look of it. Same with this guy here. Cool. Then we got further ones out here. Ooh, I really like that one. That one looks really good, actually. Check that out. Yeah, good look at that. Looks like it's losing a bit of material as well. You can see it's smoking up a bit. Okay. I like the way it looks, though. Swania over here. Uva BN. Everben. That's another good looking gas giant there. Nice realistic kind of looking design. Very nice. Serenus. Talani. Over there. Trinal. Oh, that's a nice gas giant. Looks like there's something there. What's that? That's a fragment. Okay. Nice ice giant looking well there. And then lastly, we got a very exotic one. Oh, wow. Check that out. Very, very exotic and bright and colourful. Okay, there it is. Right, so that's the brown dwarf. And then I think other than that... Oh, wow, we've got the... Oh, end of the inner orc cloud, start of the outer orc cloud. We've got proto-nemesis over here. So very, very far out from the sun. So it's got, it's got one little planet around it. Oh, it's Hatabu as well. Hey, oh, yeah, check that out. So hidden in the depths of the solar system here. Very far away from the sun at this point as well. I mean, is this actually in orbit of the sun? 
Seven light years. Whoa. Seven light years. That is huge. So that's actually further out than um, Alpha Centaurus from our home sun. So this Oort cloud is huge. Compared to the real life Oort cloud, this one must be absolutely massive. If that's seven light years from the sun, well, that's further out than Alpha. That's almost double Alpha Centaurus distance. So, yeah, this is a huge Oort. This Oort cloud is absolutely enormous for it to be spanned in multiple light years. I mean, that's pretty mad. Okay, and then the end of the outer Oort cloud there, and then I believe that is interstellar space from there. So there we go. So very, very interesting system indeed. Very, very populated as well. But check that out. What do you think of that? Sort of fragments in there as well, all in the Oort cloud, all the way back into the sun there, into the inner Oort cloud, into the uh, outer solar system, all the way back to the inner region there. A very, very interesting design system, I have to say. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments what you think. It's quite a hard one to navigate, I have to say. And it's kind of a shame his description was a bit cut off there. But oh well. I mean, I, I, hope I'm, I hope I got all the objects. But there was quite a lot. So I do apologise if any were missed. We've got quite a nice lineup of objects here. If you're looking at all these. I mean, that one stands out because it's got the very exotic colours. I really did like this one here, though. Around that red, or the, around the brown dwarf. That was a cool looking one. I also like that really far out Earth-like world that was around the... Uh, that hidden nemesis stars, I thought that was pretty awesome. But yeah, there we are, guys. So that does it for this system. You can see just how many are in here. I mean, that's a huge lineup. I mean, look at that. Pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, anyways, with that all said and done, I hope you enjoyed the system. Massive thanks again to the higher up two for sending in their system. And yeah, guys, with that all said and done, if you haven't already, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more, helps on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And also, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.